hello guys so in this video i want to teach you how to install investor script in 2024 years so investor ultra investor is a very very great script people find it hard to install it so in this video i'm going to teach you how to install the latest version of investor script now this is the admin panel for this investor so this is the admin panel this is the deposit area so as you can see this is history or deposit on hold I have this in at least three websites for my clients so this script is a very very good one so I want to teach you guys how to install it for those of you who are finding issue installing it and this script can do a lot it can actually do a lot you get more features for a lesser price with this script so guys let's get started now <coughs> before you get started you need to get a good web hosting because most uh, people actually complain that their website gets suspended so you want to get a good web hosting now which hosting do i recommend there's a link in the description that will take you to the hosting i used please do not share most of this information but there's a link in the description to take you to the hosting i use get started there register because with that hosting you your website is not suspended so most of my client websites which are websites on scripts that get suspended i host them there now after getting the your web hosting you also get your domain name now once that is done you be um you go to your file manager which is your c panel and then upload the file which i'm going to give to you so let's continue from there i don't want to open everything about that so let's just continue from uploading the file after you get your domain name and your web hosting you log into your c panel so this is my c panel now you click on upload now on upload you select the file you want to upload so i'm going to select the file right now for my computer so So this is the file the link. so now as you as you get it you upload it Now that the file is uploaded, you want to go back to your website, your file manager, sorry. So after uploading, you click on the file, you extract it. So you click on extract, then you extract the file. So once you're done extracting, you reload the file. Now the one here, you click on it, you select everything here, then you move it to the main folder of the website. So take it to the main folder, click on move file now that we have it here i'm going to delete this part now your installer is inside your public underscore html so as you can see this is your installer so sorry inside your public folder so i'm going to copy this public folder and go to browser okay i just enter the url and click on enter now it's not going to load because you need to set up your php version to 7.4 Get that you need to set up your php version to 7.4 so i'm going to go to my php now i have a lot of websites there so i don't want to open the php but you guys know how to set up php version to 7.4 right okay so that's it so let me pause this video and go set it to 7.4 and then i'll come back and continue okay for those who do not understand because i think i just felt that some people will not understand how to do that <coughs> especially if they are beginners so what you could do is just come to your php search for php on this on your search by your c panel then you see multi php manager which is this one that's the one i used because if you follow that hosting i told you about it will make life easier for you now once you click on it now come here select 7.4 select the domain name i already selected as you can see one selected they click on apply Okay, as you can see successfully apply php version 7.4 to this blah 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 so come back here and then come here and then you refresh so if you refresh it's going to come to your installer so now that is on the installer you click on check requirements and as you click on check requirements as you can see everything is okay 
then you click on check permissions so now you have to go to the storage inside storage folder you go to app folder inside app you go to public and then you change the uh, permission to 775 so you also do that for app and brand then you do that for framework and log so let's go there so here is the file okay we have it here so let's go back inside your call look for what's the word right now i think i've missed it storage app um public so look for storage we have storage so the we have framework first so enter we had this then we had inside app we had brand and public right public and brand yes so we have public and brand so i'm gonna click on it paste it click on enter click on it paste it oh sorry seven seven five seven seven five so click on enter so we have boots now that we have boots we go here we have to refresh the permission and see if we have fulfilled everything okay remaining one so go to bootstrap and catch cache or whatever you call it so you go bootstrap oh sorry so you go to bootstrap then this is it so you give it the permission so you click on enter so now that we have all that done so you come here you refresh so as you refresh everything is okay you click on check environment so the name of your site i'm going to call this zd so your production you're going to call it development z force yes so where do you want your file to be installed in do you want it to be installed in the main folder or the public folder whichever you choose is fine so i'm going to leave it on the public folder i'm going to click on setup database now database you have to create your database so i think i already opened that down so this is where i'm creating my database so you enter the name which you want to give your database here and then you understand how to create database guys i already have one for this tutorial so i just go i'm just going to go and copy it so this is it so this is the database i have already i created it for the tutorial so here you leave it at mysql this part you change it to localhost so localhost you leave this database port you change it to the name database username database password then you put in the password which you use Then you click on install so you give it some time to actually install So now that we have it installed this i'm not going to save this as you can see this is everything about it so you click on complete installation now this is the last part that is very necessary so this is where you actually put your activation license last part is to enter the license activation code so as you can see you have successfully installed the application please activate the application to unlock now the, the this part here will require you getting the uh, purchase code from me which i already have as you remember when you open to upload you saw the purchase code so you're going to enter the username enter the the email and enter the purchase code and that is it so i'm going to pause this video enter the email enter the username and enter the password and then i'm going to continue from here so let me pause it so guys i have successfully done that and we have this place here you have registered super admin so here we have to create an admin account so i'll call this victor email address let me just say um support at v dot com password let me just call this one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is that's it 
so this is the information we used i'm going to copy this now this everything we use here are actually not i'm going to delete this website actually so they are not valid so close remember this one two three four five six seven eight nine so now we can log into our site so the next phase is to set your site name so z z leon enter your support name so so enter your support name you click on update and next so website setting successfully updated the recipient email so default it will automatically use the email you set before so that's it sftp now this is where you want to set your mailing settings for your website so it's going to be mail zd.com that's the main host now for this hosting i'm using is 465 for yours it's going to be something else now username so i'm going to call it support at so sftp password sorry now i'm not filling this for my head in case you don't know guys i'm filling this for my web me okay how do you create a web me so let's go to our um, c panel let me search your web me um email so email account this is where you create an email and fill the information but if you use my own if you use everything in this tutorial it will be the same so you just create it and then use it from this part so email from z d l l i n so z d l l i n dot com so then you click on update and next now you can jump this process and click on do not ask me so it's your choice but okay email sorry support at z d dot com so next so you can send test me but i don't want to do that right now you can test it if you did everything correctly which currency do you want to use so set all the currency if it's uh if it's crypto you select the crypto then you click on next so everything here i want to skip you just set it up if you are cool with it now i'll see skip this as you can see time zone date the format update and complete now why this is going on why this is still here let's go to the um, front end to see how it looks so this is it so this is it as you can see this is more of an investment type of platform as you can see people can just invest now let's click on invest now and they start investing so you could set payment method you could set withdrawal method but i want to just go to the dashboard and so we see how it looks like so this is it this is everything here so guys on your home page this is what you have this is what you have as you can see people just come here they invest once and you could give this a home page or you could just use it like this and then it's cool so someone can just come here invest now they create an account if they don't have an account and it is simple so guys that's how it is for investors so thanks for watching this video if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to this youtube channel and join us as we hit a benchmark of 2000 subscribers so thanks guys for watching this tutorial guys subscribe like this video and if you have any issue or any question please comment your co uh, your question in the description of this video sorry in the commentary of this video and i will help you out so thanks for watching this video guys bye for now